This is Samantha here from RecipeThis.com and the voice behind the popular kitchen gadgets podcast, Magic with Gadgets. Today I'm going to show you how to cook a whole tilapia in the Instant Pot pressure cooker. Before we share this amazing recipe with you, we recommend that you head over to RecipeThis.com. At the top of the site is a search bar and you can search for any of our recipes that are featured on our YouTube channel. So this makes it really easy. So if you see one of our videos and you want step-by-step -step photos or a free printable recipe card, then that search box is amazing. And then if you scroll down below that, you'll be able to see our categories. And what you can do is, let's say you've got an Instant Pot, you can click on the link just for Instant Pot recipes. The same for the air fryer, slow cooker, soup maker, Thermomix or whichever recipe you've got. And best of all, I highly recommend you enter your email address and sign up for our weekly newsletter. In our weekly newsletter, we feature all our latest recipes, as long as tips, tricks, popular previous recipes and so much more and we just really really would like it if you join and then when you do join you can reply to any of our newsletters and you'll get direct email response from me or my husband Dominic and it's just brilliant you can also look through the archives of our entire site so let's say you're looking for Christmas ideas, then you can look at December of the previous year or the year before that for some great ideas, search through our categories and do so much more. We've got 1400 plus kitchen gadget recipes on Recipe This and I just cannot wait to see you over there and welcome you to the Recipe This family. So for doing instant pot whole fish, any fish that will fit the instant pot is fine to do. I'm using black tilapia, which I've picked up from Morrison's, but any or similar will do. And you're looking for one of that kind of size. And also make sure that the eyes are clear because that's a good sign and that it's already been gutted. And then you can start stuffing uh, your whole fish with whatever ingredients you want to include. I'm adding some lemon because it's just delicious and lovely. So just slice up some lemon that you can stuff inside your fish. And then just load it up. And then of course you can add in some garlic as well. I've just got a handful there of uh, chopped garlic from the freezer defrosted now and then you can add in some fresh herbs totally up to you how much of it you use and then just stuff it in there that was some fresh parsley we've also got some fresh thyme and then finally some fresh dill and then just stuff it all in there like that and then also you want to score it so you can add some lovely flavour and it'll cook through. And then you can do the same again on the other side. Oh, we've already scored this side though. And then you can just season it with some salt and pepper. And then it's ready to be loaded into the instant pot. Let me just wash my hands a second. Then once you've done that, lid off the Instant Pot. And then I've also already got my trivet ready and sat in there. So now you just need enough liquid for it to go to pressure. So this is my larger eight quart. So I'm actually using two cups of water. And then once you've added the water in, grab your fish and you want to be positioning it into your Instant Pot. And what I find is sometimes they're a bit big, this one's a bit on the big side, is to rest it down like that and then have the tail going up the side. And then it's just perfectly positioned. And then if anything's fallen out, you can just reposition it. And it's all right if some lemon or garlic goes to the bottom of your Instant Pot because it just adds extra flavor as it pressure cooks. And then it's time to place the lid on your Instant Pot. So 
at the valve to sealing, make sure you're on sealing and not venting. And then on the buttons, you're looking for pressure cook. 10 minutes and then we're going to be doing a five minute natural pressure release. So now after it's done its five minute natural pressure release, it will probably have released all its pressure naturally. So then you can remove it from sealing across the venting. And then beware, there's going to be a lot of steam coming out. So now the steam's escaped from the instant pot. Let me just show you how easy it is to remove. If you literally pick your fish up like that, then it holds up in place on the trivet and it's just perfect. If you just check that fish out there, absolutely perfect. And then you can place it onto a chopping board like this one for serving. Now you can put it straight to the dinner table with your favorite potatoes and you've got lunch thanks to the Instant Pot. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the Recipe This family. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook and Pinterest. We also have a weekly newsletter at recipethis.com forward slash newsletter where we share with you our latest kitchen gadget recipes, what we're cooking in the Milner kitchen and so much more. As well as this, we recommend that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and then whenever we have a new video, you will be the first to know. And if you want to know about all our future videos, then I recommend you hit the bell for instant notifications. But even better, we now have a podcast. It's called Magic with Gadgets. Simply search Magic with Gadgets on your favourite podcast player and you'll find us there.